boys got home and I decided to do that. So that is the area I've been pointing at as the popcorn area. And so it has started, it has begun. We hand, we hand turn the soil. Um, I'll get the name of the tool. It's called a spading fork. All right guys, sorry, we got interrupted. I just wanted to say though, after doing all the potatoes and after the kids got home for whatever reason, I decided to just go over to the popcorn area um, and we hand turned all of the soil in the popcorn area. And instead of taking the grass out, I decided to just try and like bury the grass under the ground. And I'm sure we'll be weeding it for a few years to come, but um, the grass will kind of fertilize um, the soil a little bit. And um, we, we need the like buildup of ground. I don't know if that makes sense, but when you take all the sod off, you lose a few inches of height on the soil. And I didn't want to do that. so. We're just turning it into the soil. So tomorrow we're just gonna take like some hose and stuff like that, smack the crap out of it, get it into a decent looking soil. And, um, and then we're gonna plant popcorn. We have two varieties of popcorn and I don't care if those two varieties cross pollinate. There's one that's pink and there's one that's normal colored. So I don't care if eventually all of our popcorn turns out pink because when it pops it all is the same popcorn anyway. So, um, so yeah, we have now started the popcorn area. All right guys, apparently I don't know what taking a break means. Um, but anyway, this is gonna be our first video on how to grow something straight from seed all the way through to saving seeds. And it's popping corn. Um, so, I am not claiming to be an expert in any way, shape or form. I've never grown popcorn. So we're gonna do it together. I have dug out an area in the yard that is away from the garden. So the area we are doing the popcorn in is over there. All right, and the garden is over here. And our corn is actually at the far end, our regular corn is at the far end of this garden. Because from what I've read is you do not want popcorn near regular corn because of cross pollination. Don't know the logistics of it all. I just know people tell me don't put them close to each other. So we didn't, we put them on the other side of the property. Um, Cause like I said, our popcorn is way at the end near that tree. Um, so we're going to, so all I did, okay, so what I did, that was grass. I took this guy here, which is a spading, a spading fork. And I literally shoved it into the ground, wiggled it around, grabbed the grass and started turning it over. Then we grabbed a hoe. Um, just in case you don't know what a hoe is. I think I've got one here. Yeah, okay. We have so many tools here. So this, that's a hoe. So we took the hoe, we whacked all of the big pieces of dirt to break them up into smaller pieces. And then I took um, this big rake. Um, just a regular rake and I took that and I raked over all of the dirt uh, just to continue to break up any big pieces of dirt and I was kind of raking big clods of like we uh, weeds and grass and things because I did turn a lot of the grass over um, but I didn't want to keep a lot of grass in because I don't want it to start growing up in with the corn uh, so we did pull some of the grass out, not all of it. The grass that's underneath should decompose and kind of feed the soil. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is take the hoe and we're going to dig some rows. And your rows should be about a foot apart. Like each plant should have like a foot either way. So we're gonna make a row and then we're gonna make a row where our corn is gonna be, is gonna be about a foot apart from the last corn seed kind of thing. Um, and that's, that's the way we're going to plant in this area. It's not a big area, so we should be able to do 
about a foot in every direction kind of thing. Um, and we're just going to kind of eyeball it, guesstimate, as we know, I'm not the greatest, the greatest at that. Um, so they might end up a bit closer, a bit further, not a big deal. Point being is we don't want them right on top of each other. We don't want them six inches apart in every direction. We want to try and eyeball it about a foot apart. Uh, so that's what we're going to go do. So stay tuned. I'll show you what the rows look like. guys oh that only took 12 minutes and I'm getting a blister all right these lines are anything but straight especially over here they're pretty close at the back corner oh well um, but we have one two three four five six we have seven rows and they're a pretty good length and I think perhaps next year I'll make this our regular popcorn area and we'll move the popping corn to the end over there. So if anyone tries to steal our popcorn or if they try to steal our cob on the, like corn on the cob style corn, they'll end up with a rude awakening because it'll be popcorn. So anyway, popcorn. this this is going to grow a lot of popcorn and uh, it might actually be like two years worth of popcorn, who knows. Anyway, we will go and find the popcorn and be right back. Okay. All right, guys, so, oh, careful. So Joseph has the beets. We're gonna go and plant more beets in um, the area. Oh, that's good, they're heirloom. So that's a good uh, seed Let kind. Do that. Oh, hang on, we're gonna do that after. We're gonna do the popcorn first. So okay. we're gonna just sprinkle some more uh, beets over the area where the beets are because we only planted about eight. Anyway. These are the two kinds of popcorn. Don't, please. Um, so we have pink popcorn from West Coast Seeds and it matures in 85 days. Joseph. Yeah. Please listen. Um, so it has approximately 65 seeds and it yields five to six inch long cobs. And you get, two, usually with any corn, you get about two per package. Um, and the other one is from Vessies, which is called Robust Popping Corn, and it matures in 110 days. Um, I'd have to look up to see whether this is like open pollinated. This one is open pollinated, as you can see, OP is open pollinated. So we'll make sure we save the seeds from that. Um, but I think we're gonna do, I really like the pink. So I think we're gonna do um, more of the pink than the other one. Um, but I've actually had really good luck with Vessi's uh, seeds this year. Um, kind of. <laughs> My fruit plants aren't doing the best. I think one of the blueberries has completely died, but that's okay. Okay, you bring that, you bring that, let's go. We'll leave this one here. You grab your popcorn and let's go. Okay. Grab your popcorn. So this one has germination rates, so it says 85% germination. So <laughs> maybe we'll plant them a bit closer together in case they don't germinate. We end up with still a good harvest of popcorn. Who knows? Does this have a germination rate? No. All right. Come on, Joseph. I got your popcorn. All right, dude, hang on. Okay. I actually wanna show you that like corn kernel, like seeds are just the kernels. Um, so I could have just saved some from what our accountant gave us, which were these pink ones. Our accountant, hang on a second, hang on. Our accountant okay. gave us these last year and we actually used them as popcorn and they worked great. So it's uh, good to look at your seeds to see what you're looking for. And all it is is just dried popcorn.
All right, guys, I kind of gave up on spacing. <laughs> um, so there's one here, here. So I kind of, I kind of tried to visualize like a subway sub, like a foot long sub being between them. Um, and then it just generally got smaller and smaller because there's like one there and then there's one there, right there. And as we go on. Um, so yeah, we used all the seeds though. You can kind of see them mixed throughout. Joseph is, um, he's more of a heavy seeder than I am. Yeah. Oh, close up. Lost. All right, make sure you plant them in the rows because we're going to cover them. Yes, I know. Yeah, he dropped all of his seeds right there. Did you get the last one? Oh, yeah. there's still one more in there. Right there. All right, now get yours into the rows. So, he's a pretty thick cedar. Okay, let's go up here. Let's do this row. Okay, so toss them in there. Do it all along the road, but don't step in there. Okay. So come over here and like throw it in there. Well, there you go. It's fine. It's fine. We've got enough in there. No, I did it. All right. You, yeah. You just toss them in. So now I'm just gonna start covering them. Alright guys, that is it. We covered it the best we could. Like I said, it's a very rough garden. Um, and now the challenge is, Joseph, out! That, going to keep him out. Um, so I'm gonna grab the hose and water it, but I don't see any on top. So, uh, should be good. We're gonna give it a nice good water though. Alright guys, so like I said, it's May 26th, popcorn has been planted, and we'll water it obviously every day, and I'll let you know, like I'll do another video on the first day it emerges, so that we know kind of how many days it took to germinate, so. And now Joseph's gonna get back, because I turned the water off. Um, but anyway, we gotta go inside and have lunch. But yeah, so, next video will be the day that they germinate and start popping through the soil so we know how long it takes. And then from that day, you know, I'll do periodic videos of showing how big it gets and how quickly. And then, so the pink was 85 days to maturity and the Vessi's like yellow popcorn, regular one, uh, was 110 days to maturity. So on the day that it pops out of the ground and they emerge, We'll kind of go roughly 85 days from there. I'm not sure. I think they're, yeah, it's usually from germination or transplant. And so this would be germination. And come on, we gotta go have lunch. Now just feds dirt all over space. Anyway, so like I said, we'll have dates to watch for harvest. Come on. And go from there. Uh, my accountant has actually done this before, so if I have any questions, I'll just ask him uh, what I have to do to like dry the popping corn. I'm assuming you would just let it dry on the stalk. I'm not sure. So, uh, but we'll figure it out. We'll have fun, and we'll end up with some popcorn. So, stay tuned. <laughs>